What's up, cool people? My name's Matt. Welcome back to Juju. Alright. More Juju. Um, so we're in the, like, second kind of world area, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, these really look like tiny little planets here. Or if I were using terminology from a different game, planetoids. But, uh, yeah. Sorry, real quick. Just taking a look at something. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, Zacchaeus. This is giving major, like, little big planet vibes. Even though that's not exactly what it is. Or are you saying that, like, each one of these things is a quote-unquote little big planet. I could see that being what you mean too. Anyway, hi. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Thanks for stopping by. Feel free to, uh, you know, leave some thoughts as I play through this game. It is a pretty simple one, which should leave me fairly available to, uh, you know, respond to the chat. But maybe I should uh, start things off saying, hi, how are ya? Um, okay, that is something I can jump on there. Huh, interesting. Fantastical. Well, that's good to hear. I am glad you are doing fantastical. Uh, there we go. Um, okay, this kind. These kind of portal levels I'm finding are all, like... Honestly, rather similar to each other. Well, not all, but, like, there's... There's, like, a few select types of them. And that's really about it. So, uh, curious, Zacchaeus, uh, what brings you here? I mean, other than just wanting to check out a live stream, is it, did something else, like, bring my channel to your attention, or, like, is it because of the game I'm playing? I'm just curious. Whoa, hello. That's the first time in this game I think I've actually had to duck for something. Hold up, did I act... I actually wound up hitting that ar little arm that extended out there, and I got hurt because of it. I kind of like the little dance that that guy was doing. So yeah, definitely got another heart there, and I'm pretty sure that was purely because of, uh, getting another hundred of these things. Anyway, uh, ask D. Greggs for a list of Christian streamers to share. Hey, cool, that... I am all for that. I uh, definitely 
as much as I can, I've been trying to, like, kind of, you know, support other Christian streamers and content creators, even if it's with just simply, like, you know, following them on different platforms or other little things like that. But, like, it all kind of helps big picture, because, you know, especially on platforms where, like, you need to hit certain metrics in order to start, you know, earning anything from it. And, of course, being able to earn from it means we can dedicate more time to it, and that means that there's all the more possibility of, you know, spreading the good news. <laughs> I have not seen that little, like color-changing dancing cat emoji. I like it. I mean, is that technically an emoji? Uh, it's... For lack of a better term, that's what I'm considering it. Ah, yes. Dancing Charmander, I hear, is one of uh, D. Gregg's favorites. Big default emoji, huh? Okay. For a second, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get all the way up here. Oh, okay. So there's blocks that I gotta kind of balance out like that in order to get up here. Then, do you do any live streams or anything like that yourself, Zacchaeus? Because if so, then I might try and look you up and at least give you a follow, like I mentioned doing with some others. Oh, I was not ready to duck there. glad I came on to kick today because I've been having some slight issues with my live streams to the point where I've kind of been exiting kick early in a lot of them to try and like keep it a better experience for anybody who's watching on YouTube that's really like my main platform But I'm glad I got somebody tuning in over on Kick here. Anyway, dude, don't really talk about it in other streams, but yeah. I only brought it up because we were talking about Christian streamers and yeah, like... I, I, I appreciate you not wanting to bring it up in somebody else's live stream. Um, but I brought it up myself, so I don't think that's really a problem then. I'm not trying to like, you know, quote unquote advertise anybody here. I'm just, you know, seeing what other people do, trying to, you know, see what my community looks like here. Okay, 
That was a combo of moves I hadn't really pulled off before with the dash, jump, dash, all in one sequence there. Uh, jeez. Huh. First outright, like, total fall of the game. I really hope the game doesn't expect you to, like, get all those little butterfly crystal things along those tracks, because... Good grief. That would basically be just like asking to get hurt. Okay, whatever. I'll skip past all that. Got a pumpkin here. Might be a little bit of a spooky level going on. Oh, like it's dark in this area. Interesting. I can't necessarily see everything ahead of me. A little bit of light around me. Now the enemies do seem to like glow. Although is that just because they're jack-o'-lanterns? Ooh, hello. Bonus portal level thing. Okay. more of these little butterfly things and I should regain that health that I lost yep I do wonder if there's any kind of like Speedrunner community or whatever you'd call it for this game. Because, I don't know. Platformers tend to make pretty easy uh, speedrun material. Not saying that it makes the speedruns easy to do, but... You know, just with platformers generally having, you know, pretty noticeable, most efficient paths to traverse them, <coughs> it, it, it makes, you know, it just kind of leans into that speedrunning mentality. If I get into doing, like, a whole lot of this kind of stuff in the future with, like, you know, gaming and live streaming and all that, I'm contemplating maybe seeing if there are some games I could try and do some speedruns of.
and really I think what would you know make more sense for this channel though especially given the name would be if I did like randomizers but those kind of can't happen on console or at least to the best of my knowledge It, they're they're not really easy to pull off unless you've got like a PC where you can sort of mod things a little bit. Okay, is there something up here that I missed that maybe would get me over? It's, no. So I'm trying to get to that area up there, but it doesn't seem like. Oh well, hold up. Maybe if I dash, duh. Brain power, I have some, yeah. Oh, hello. All right, well there's the third portal for this level. Oh, geez, okay. And it's gotta be like the hardest portal type that there is in this game. Just because of like the moving platform and whatnot. But hey, I got it. All right, all right. I just might actually like. Well, I don't know if you'd still call it 100%, but I might get all the things in this level that the game actually keeps track of. But if there was something else up there, maybe. Nope. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was, like, background or foreground. super important, but still, not bad to have either. Oh, jeez. Really? Wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Can't quite tell what that second emoji is there, Zaki is, but it looks. Oh, never mind. I I figured it out. It's the whole like coffin dance thing. Okay, there we go. Just had to wait for those to separate. Okay, level complete. I guess I, I guess I got everything in one of the previous levels too. Now that I think about it. Um. 
so if the pattern holds, this should be a boss level. Yep, sure looks like it. Geez, there's like a shockwave. Okay. How exactly do I uh, deal damage to this guy? That's not it. That hurts me, not him. <laughs> comes back. What is that? Is that it? Is that how I damage it? Oh, jeez. So many different attacks, like... Other than, you know, once for each side, literally none of these attacks have been repeated. Okay, so is this how I'm dealing damage? I really don't know. Now we're back to the start of the loop. Uh, never mind, it's not just a loop. I hope it's not expecting me to, like... Be... Oh, jeez. I am actually starting to wonder if it expects me to, like, attack his back during those brief moments when he turns around. Nope, okay. Oh, but they, okay, those are like light bulbs there. So, ah, jeez. Yeah, I don't think that's a attack is back kind of thing. I think it's actually just like, Whenever the one dude comes out of his head or whatever with the light bulbs and whatnot, I just attack that. All right. Uh, 
this right here is my least favorite attack. Because it's hard to tell whether I've, you know, timed it decently or not. Okay. Is that it then? Looks like it. Sweet. Well, it flew away, so I guess that means it's not technically, you know, fully defeated yet. But I'm sure, you know, there's going to be a second fight with it. If the two fights against the frog boss in the previous area were any indication. Okay. Well, that boss fight took a little longer than I had hoped, but more challenge, I guess, makes it at least a little bit more interesting. And I'm not just, like, breezing through it all. Okay, so, yeah, that boss was uh, quite a bit tougher than the one in the first world area. Um, yeah, and there's still probably another fight yet to come for it a bit later, possibly in the next episode. But anyway, as always, like and share if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell if you're on YouTube to get updates when I post new videos. You can also follow me on Rumble to watch stuff there. Um, look down in the description to get info on other social media pages, how to find and follow those, and leave comments down below that with any thoughts you have. So that's gonna do it for now. Hope you're all doing well. Hopefully I'll see you for the next video. But until then, stay cool, people.